The other day, um, I wanted to give my students something new to do for spelling homework because they do the three times each, the ABC order, and they wanted something different. So we did the text messaging on um, their spelling words. And the way you do it, it's really cool, is you, for example, the word dime, you would write on their, on their notebook paper, D-I-M-E. And whenever you have a cell phone, or at least the older ones, whenever you hit D, the D, you would hit the letter three one time. So you'd put a three underneath here. Well, then the letter I is four, but it's the third letter. So you would hit that um, three times. So it would be four, four, four. Then the M would be the first six number. And then the E again would be the second one. Three, three. So that helps them to remember, like if they were texting um, the letters. And, and then we decided that they, that they could box it out and they would box it like this, which gives them another visual to remember um, the letter and how far it is down on the number. Then the students got so excited when they saw this because in math, we're doing area and perimeter. So the kids are going, Miss Johnson, Miss Johnson, there's something else we can do. We can do area and perimeter with this. So I'm like, okay, how would we do that? So they were like, okay, we put area down and perimeter. And then they just box out this area here, and there's one, two, three, four, two rows of four, which is eight, nine, 10, 11. So the area of this word is 11. Pretty cool, right? Yes. And then whenever we do the, the perimeter, they just go around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the perimeter of the word dime is 18. It's an interesting way to, in how to integrate math and spelling at the same time. Yes, it is. It sure is. Now, on their desk mats, whenever they're working on their desk, we have the desk mats here, and we have the GeoAction uh, desk mat. I would have them turn it over, and since these are laminated, they can write on the back of the other one. And then they would write their other spelling words. For example, let's do mat for GeoMat. And then, would you like to do that one for me? Mm -hmm. And what you notice with that, with Matt, there's no going down any. So when we box it out, it's just a simple rectangle. And that gives them another visual to remember how to spell the word Matt. And the students absolutely love it.